Sydney, Australia, Robert the Reaper Whitaker! It looks like he's up for this one. Kelvin Gastelum is hurt. Oh, oh, that was hard. And this is high level mixed martial arts. Ooh, that one hurt. Oh, man, that caught the chin, that front kick. Ooh, heavy left hook. I mean, Robert is just one step ahead in every single transition. For the winner by unanimous decision, Robert the Reaper Whitaker! I love the commentary saying that one hurt. They all look pretty painful to me. <laughs> <laughs> He's a former UFC middleweight champion, and I'm telling you right here, right now, soon to be again. And Masashi Ambassador Rob Whitaker joins us. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, we're going to talk about that and so much more. We're going to start with a question uh, you may not expect. How's your guitar playing going? <laughs> it's it's coming along. It's coming along. Let's just uh, say I'm glad I can fight. <laughs> <laughs> What, what is it about playing the guitar, though? Is it just something to keep you miles away from what you normally do? Yeah, I'm the type of person that always has to be doing something. But even, even to relax, I have to be doing something. I can't just sit still and, and switch off. So to be able to play the guitar just when I want to, just to whip it out and you know, play around, it's, I don't know, relaxing. It's a long way from what you do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you, and you obviously enjoy that, do you, is this something you enjoy when you turn on to get it in that fight, those moments before, what, what's the feeling like? Um, the moments just before a fight, it's, it's, why am I doing this? This is terrible. It is the, mo the pressure and the, the feeling of the whole day from when I wake up to when I'm in the, in the octagon and they lock that bolt and there's no one in there except the guy that's trying to beat me up. It's, uh, it's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> it's a terrible feeling. You nearly said terrifying. Uh, not terrifying. It's, it's terrible. It really is terrible. It's, um, there's just so much pressure. Just every every single fight, I'm like, why am I doing this? So, the, so, so your battle mentally to get yourself up for a fight, um, I, I think you might your mind will probably beat your body. So your mind might make you retire before your body gives up. hundred percent, hundred percent. You know what's what's funny is like, you can do it once, you can do it twice. It's when you've been in there thirty times. And you know, you're no longer living fight to fight. And you're like, do I need to do this anymore? <laughs> how, many, how many fights a year do you have? A year, it depends yeah. on like health and how, how much a fight takes out of you. But generally, I try to get two to three. Like, okay. I think this year, time-wise, it's going to be hard to get three in, but we'll wait and see what happens. Is there any stage of the fight where you're actually enjoying it? The, and that's that's a funny part because once a fight happens, it's a roller coaster of emotions, and and I can barely remember fight just because of the adrenaline, and how fast it's going. But um, there there is a moment in the fight when I'm bouncing around in front of him, and I, he's trying to take everything from me, and I'm trying to hit him my hardest. And there's just that one moment where I just love it, absolutely love the thrill of it, and that threat, that gamble. You know? Robert, you've been with UFC for nine years and you've seen the growth of the sport. What's it been like? Has it seems to have really surged in, in popularity in that time? It, yeah, phenomenally. It's, it's just gone up since, since the day it launched here and, and come out here and we started, they started hosting the shows here in the, in the big arenas. It's just been going up. And the more Australian athletes and, and New Zealand athletes that come out of Australia and, and start to do well. You know, we, we've, I, I was the first champion and then Bokanovsky's now the current champion of his division. It's just the popularity has gone through the roof. You can see that. In the lead up to your last fight, you, um, you were sparring with Tim Zhu, mm. uh, Australia's right, well, he's not rising star anymore, is he? He's a boxing star. You're a fighter, he's a boxer. So when you come together, yep. how does that work? Um, so we, my coaches wanted me to, to sharpen up my striking and to think outside the box, to make myself uncomfortable. That's how you, that's how you get the best growth. And uh, so, so we started working together and um, I, I found out you can't fight a boxer. You know, that, that's that old adage, you, you, have to, you have to box a boxer. And um, so I, I had to just take a step back, really focus on the art of boxing and it just made my hands so much better for this, like, my, my last fight. It must have been difficult because all of that COVID in terms of uh, that, you know, you're, you're away from fighting, but the preparation, did you had your, where you live, your property, what did you do? Yeah, well, when, when COVID first hit, it was strange because obviously in, in mixed martial arts, there's a lot of grappling and wrestling and, you know, <laughs> very body-on-body body action. Yeah. <laughs> Not deliberate, oh, yeah. sorry, just make in general, <laughs> sweat. There's, there's crap going everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, but yeah, so it was, it was very weird, like no, no grappling, no wrestling. Everyone was doing the same thing. They're going home, they're doing push-ups, so they're running around as the blockers. 
Where's the sneak? Everyone's got that one place, probably many that they don't want to get hit, but is there one specific place you think, oh, no, not there again? <laughs> oh, it's funny. <laughs> what about the nose? I hope the nose would be a good spot. Oh, get hit. A, a, any place that switches off is obviously terrible. <laughs> like your chin, your, the back of your ears, and if they hit hard anywhere, right? But the, right there, the bridge of your nose, if you have a look at it, uh, there's a photo after my last fight my wife put up. Very proud of me. I was very good, but I go, look at the snoz on me. I, I took two huge ones, like smack bang there oh. and it, it looks like this it is just monstrous on the other you oh. obviously have a high pain threshold because you and you also fight through injury there's a, a couple i think you uh, you did your knee and also oh. your your hand now did you break your hand at one point you're just basically using legs and your left yeah well yeah he he, he stomped my knee out then <laughs> which was no good. <laughs> but I've, I've since recently taken that ability from him and I've started stomping other people's. <laughs> it's pretty good. Robert, I heard a podcast with you where you were very proud of your humble origins and, like, you weren't born with a silver spoon. You had to scrap all the way. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I grew up in the Housing Commission. Old oh, man's still there. Oh, he just loves his own place, I guess, like, w- working through it all. But um, I'm very proud that I had to earn my way up to, to where I am today and... Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm very proud. I take a lot of pride in that, 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 that fact. Rob, you've, you've beaten some highly ranked... You've won your last three, haven't you? Uh, um, yes, yeah. I, have. I have. So who's, who's on the list next? Who would I'm you lo- like to fight? I'm looking for, for the winner of this uh, Adesanya and Vittori fight. They're, they're fighting for the title. Just because the timing didn't work, but um, my next fight has to be for the title. I've, I've beaten the, the top contenders and there's no one left. Uh, if you do get to fight Adesanya, I just, we've got some vision of his entrance here and then we've got it married up next to yours. Oh. His is quite reserved. Um, <laughs> you know, just it's quiet. It's killing me watching this. <laughs> it's, it's a little... <laughs> Have you been practising? I can't um, wait to see your entrance. Yeah, yeah. very similar, Rob, is to it? Adesanya. Yep, there you go, just walks yeah. out. And... <laughs> Just want to go out. You, will that fuel you to want to hit him harder when you see him come out and do flips? And yeah, um, maybe it did because that that fight I was very upset. <laughs> that fight I was very very upset. But you don't sledge, Robert, do you? You're not into the pre-match sort of, you know, why? Well, I guess first things first is like we're literally going to start punching on him in a matter of seconds, <laughs> minutes, you know, days, sort of thing. So it's uh, there's no there's nothing to say. We're already going to fight. And two, it's just not me. I was always, um, I was always a big believer of uh, what happens on the field stays on the field sort of thing, and I've taken that approach to, to combat as well. So my, my, my field, if you would, is the octagon. That's where it all happens, and the, the, you know, the love loss is, is, is in there. So just, just a quick one. There was talk about Paul Gallen. I mean, he wants to fight everybody in the world, which is interesting. <laughs> uh, interest there. And what do you think about his fight with uh, Justice Horney, who's a big young kid, 100 amateur fights, heading to the Olympics? Yeah, I, I've got to give it to him. You know, I think that's going to be a real test. And if he can pull through it, I'll be the first one on the, the, the Gallen wagon, <laughs> for, <laughs> for sure. I, I've got to give it to the guy. He's working hard. No one can say any, any otherwise. And he, he's fighting as often as he can. I think he's, he's doing a good job. Whether or not I'd fight him, I'm in that game that's what I do <laughs> you know I live to live to fight at the moment all right well we look forward to seeing you uh, reclaim that belt I'm sure that's going to happen thanks so much for being with us tonight thank you so much for having me. legend Rob well here coming up our champ of the week stick around